afternoon, this is Jordan and Savannah. Today we're going to be explaining why sleep is good for your health. Sometimes life is busy since you have to work and pay bills, which can decrease your amount of sleep. Sleep is important for your health and you should try to fit at least seven to eight hours of sleep into your schedule. Good sleep can improve your brain performance, mood, and health. Not getting enough sleep can make you sick and you can also get diseases. This contains heart disease, stroke two obesity, and dementia. According to Dr. Marisha Brown, there is more to good sleep than staying in bed. Some people have trouble sleeping and there's many solutions. Some solutions are reducing caffeine, nicotine, and alcohol intake, avoiding electrical devices around bedtime, being in a place quiet, cool, and free from distractions. Overall, make sure to get your sleep. This, this is Jordan, Jordan and Savannah and signing off. off. Climate change is something in, something in temperatures and weather. Climate change changes the weather pattern and temperature in many ways. Shifts can be natural due to changes in the sun. The world is changing and I know you want to discover it and so do I. Did you know that we caused climate change and made it worse? Did you also know that we are losing 1.2 trillion ice per year or air pollution is both bad and good? This is all because of climate change. There are many problems with climate change, including threats such as rising sea levels, ecosystem collapse, and more frequent and severe weather patterns. Humans and, wild, humans and wild animals face new challenges for survival because of climate change. This, this is because, because of intense drought, storms, heat waves, melting glaciers, and directly harm animals. On the site, article climate change, the importance of place. The text states, paragraph one, climate change willing risk are placing specific and the path dependent Accordingly, location is an important determination of hazardous exposure in certain places will bear more risk than others. This shows where climate change needs to, be, needs to change my view better. This is Bonja Clay and Gavir Singh signing off from the Fortune Middle News team. Have you heard of the killing of A.J. Owens? A.J. Owens was a 35-year-old black woman with four kids. A.J. and her kids were playing in a field not knowing it belonged to her white female neighbor. The white woman came out of her apartment and yelled racial slurs at the kids and AJ. The kids were so scared they dropped the apple tablet and toys and ran to their mother. The white woman threw a pair of skates at the children and left the iPad. When the mom walked up to get the toy, the toys and the iPad, without threatening, disrespecting, or yelling at the woman, she shot AJ through the door. The woman said, she was in fear of her life, but AJ had too many witnesses, and the next day, the woman was arrested. That day, AJ was pronounced dead. Sadly, her children are now left with no mother or father. AJ died June 2nd, 2023, on Monday. The woman was arrested on June 3rd, that next Tuesday. No, there's no one has clarification of who has custody of the children. This is who they are. Jordan Jackson with, with the, the Fortune, Fortune Middle, Middle News. News. Good day, mate, or should I say bad day for the New Yorkers down in NYC. Breathing the air in New York City as a region continues to be affected by smoke from wildfires in Canada may be worse than smoking a cigarette. After a day of orange haze that caused a pall over NYC, obscuring some of the country's best known landmarks with smoke from Canadian wildfires, New Yorkers and others are in store for another day of bad air Thursday. Now, Sevier, over to you. Dr. Neil Kumar, a cardiovascular specialist and CBSC contributor, says the particles in the air from the smoke are really, really small, less than 2.5 micrometers. So what that means is that whenever we take a breath in, those particles will go straight into our lungs, deep into our lungs and our bloodstream. And what that translates to is irritation and inflammation, as Kumar explained it. And that was the Minute Morning News of Sever Singh. And Isma Jimenez signing off from the Fortune Middle News team. Child labor may be performed on a famous website. Sheen is a very popular online clothing store that most people nowadays shop. I've shopped on Sheen only a few times in my life, but all those times I looked at reviews and they were always good ones. But is there a bad part about Sheen that we don't know about? We're going to talk about the pros and cons of the Sheen website. First, we're going to talk about the pros with Kalia. The online website has a wide variety of clothing, which I found on the rockstar.org, which it states, Sheen is known for their inexpensive clothing, but there's more to the company than just clothing. They sell jeans, shirts, leggings, sportswear, dresses, loungewear, casual outfits, 
sweaters, hoodies, swimsuits, and more outside of their clothing line. They also have shoes, bags, makeup, accessories, and electronic stationery. The list is never ending with, Shein, with what Sheen has to offer. Now let's move on to the amazing prices on the Sheen website. According to the Euromonitor.com, the article stated, Affordable prices. Sheen aims to offer up-to-date and relevant styles at competitive prices. And a con if a consumer likes a dress from Zara, they can find a simil similar style from Sheen at approximately 70% of Zara's price. Now moving on to the cons. The main con of this dash fashion website is that child labor laws may be getting violated. I said this because according to medium.com, the tech page, on the same social responsibility page, the environmental friendly claims are found on Sheen stage. We strictly abide by child labor laws in each of the countries we operate in. Neither we nor any of our partners are allowed to hire underage children. Any partners or vendors found to have violated these laws are terminated immediately and reported to the authorities. However, we have to note that laws vary across different countries and regions. For example, in Bangladesh, where many fast fashion factories are located, the legal age of employment is just 14. How do we know if Sheen is keeping their promise if they do not reveal what their supply chain looks like? If Sheen is really proud of the conditions surrounding supply chain, why isn't the brand forthcoming without providing this information? I don't feel like Sheen is the perfect company that they, that they paint themselves to be. I'm Love. And I'm Kalia. And, and we, we are, are signing, signing out with the Fortune Middle, Middle Media. Media. Hey, everybody. Director Stefan DeBose, director for our Fortune uh, Music and Visual and Arts Performing uh, Program. Do you know what just happened? You're going to see some highlights coming up right to my left. But we had the Best of Fortune show last night, and oh my goodness, it was phenomenal. We had music and art representation from all of our Fortune schools. Uh, a lot of grades were representative. It was a packed house at the Fortune Pavilion. We was rocking. We had our drumline clubs, our drumline. Again, you need to look to the left because there's going to be some cool highlights, all right? But I am just so humbled. I'm so honored to see what um, growth and opportunities uh, are coming forward from our scholars. Yes, our scholars did incredible, all right? So they have great artistic ideals, great music ideals. Next year, we're going to grow into dance and film and media. Yeah, so we just want to continue to celebrate our scholars, all right, our phenomenal and amazing teachers. And if you're not part of Fortune, you have an opportunity. Come join us. Come be part of us, all right, whether you teach or whether you want to be a scholar, all right? We have opportunity for you. And again, check out, right to my left, all the best of Fortune highlights, okay? Uh -huh.